Okay, so this is going to be a uh, secondary bathroom consolidation, a uh, slightly more advanced bathroom consolidation, um, or you may even consider this um, getting that last little bit out of that bottle that you just can't get otherwise uh, type of video. Um, as you can see, I have a few little trial sizes that I've already been using for actually quite some time. Um, there's going to be a few more disclaimers here, but I'll get to those. Um, as we go along. Um, now over here you can see that I have obviously a bigger funnel and spatula than what you can maybe get in one of these little travel things. Which I'm going to show you right here is a little spatula. I would actually probably consider that more of like a, a makeup uh, deal applicator than an actual spatula and again uh, they also come with these mini funnels which are more fitted for the actual bottles that come with the kit but um, don't really unless you have you know enough time to actually get ready and do this or you know to leave it for the day um, or you know not that much to actually consolidate isn't going to be that big of a help um, so that's why I had originally gotten these, but then had gotten the actual kit um, just to have a few extra bottles, you know, just in case. Um, here, this is actually uh, some body spray. These uh, little spray bottles are a little more hard to come by, so if you can find them, I would, you know, and you use, you know, a body spray or um, hairspray, you know, something that you need to travel, take along with you, you know, that's you know just a little warning there um, this is actually body spray that the original bottle had broken um, had gotten a hole in it or something so I just consolidated that down to that and as you can see um, right now I have just that little bit of conditioner it's probably a little more than um, what I would normally uh, do for an actual consolidation but uh, for this demonstration purpose um, this is my little mini conditioner bottle. Um, you have to be careful. Again, this is uh, probably the first disclaimer that I mentioned before, and that you want to be careful to make sure that you keep like items um, together, and you know, do do your best not to mix them, you know, on accident. And and obviously, since these are not the original containers. Um, you want to have them coated or labeled in some way. Like this is, you can barely still see, you know, I wrote on there with a Sharpie marker, an S for shampoo, you know, plus it's clear, so I already know that that's shampoo, you know, the, the whole cleansing thing. And here is pink um, with the C for conditioner, and again, pink for, you know, bringing out the softness and that conditioners do and again you can just barely read body so that's body wash left in that one and again with the blue B you know just something that you you know you'll be able to distinguish and you know if you have a guest or whatever you can say hey you know don't th this is what the combination is you know so they they don't end up having an issue um, again you know along with the not mixing of unlike materials uh, it probably wouldn't be such a bad thing sometimes um, to do with the soap to soap but I would still stay away from it because they are chemically different um, and just the minute ways that could cause um, a reaction whether an allergic reaction or a volatile reaction uh, within the bottles themselves. Um, now another little thing, this is just kind of a little side note, is these nifty little things. Um, they're basically tube constrictors or tube squeezers and um, they have two different styles here. This first one, you can usually find a couple different colors but as you can see, whoops, um, the orange seems to be the default. Um, I guess they just think that, you know, hey, it's bright, you can see it, you'll be able to find it, you know, <clears throat> however that works out. And you can use these, you know, not only for, you know, your toothpaste, but sometimes, 
you get like these little tube um, lotions or you know things like that and it's always hard to get that last little bit and these just help you know and that <coughs> the way that these are actually intended are you know number one if you can actually get that through there sometimes they are a little difficult but it is possible to get those on there this one may not work just because I had it in the other one but yeah you just pull that along as you need it and push it up or if you're having as much trouble as I am at the moment um, you know just like a squeegee where you can set it on your counter and push the product out like that now this one, this one here is a little more tricky in that first of all you've got to get it lined up so that it'll actually catch the tube it's really hard to see other than um, the way the handle the crank is situated but it will well, if you have it situated correctly it will go all the way down to the bottom but I like to have it just a little off center and then you just crank it like that you know as far as you needed to go or as far as the product would allow you to go um, let's see and like I said um, to be at the beginning um, obviously I, I'm running a little low in the travel size bottle and obviously running a little low on the regular size bottle so I'm just going to show you a brief little trick on how to get that done this one's a little also a little tricky but I do like this a little better than um, like say that these little flip top um, bottle lids in that And it's a little tricky to get it in and out sometimes, but I mean, it's, for my own personal preference, I do like that. Um, now, the easiest way, if you're able, would be to just, you know, pour it in like that. But eventually, you will get to that point where either you're not going to have the time to necessarily do it that way, or you know it gets down to that very last level that is going to be nearly impossible to get out otherwise so um, strangely enough these uh, lids that don't seem to come off will with a little coercion in fact oops I should have brought my knife in here but um, they will eventually come off um, Aha! And reveal that it is a normal size bottle opening. So at that point, what you would want to do is take your funnel, which I have these uh, these two yellow ones. They are very cheap as well, along with you know the actual travel bottles or travel set, whichever you decide to purchase. Um, and um, I have these yellow ones in the bathroom as strictly the bathroom um, and again with the spatula this is strictly a bathroom spatula because there are some items that you can use in the kitchen that require a funnel and spatula and you definitely want to make sure to keep your bathroom separate from your food <laughs> you know for obvious reasons you know you don't want you don't you don't want body lotion or you know shampoo in your casserole or you know whatever your cake but also you know you, you don't want to contaminate the other way as well because what's the point of using all the soap if you've got a whole bunch of dirt in it or other uh, various kitchen refuse material um, oops I got that in that little divot so you'll want to make sure you're on a fairly flat surface and at first for that first bit you'll be able to just dump it on it in there and this is where a few other little tricks come in handy not only with the spatula 
but gravity will work to a point and you know you can either tap it down like that or I've also found that if you just kind of lift it a little bit and squeeze your bottle it will create its own vacuum and I got a little bit of the actual stuff on me but hey if you're in your bathroom what's a little rinse now like I said you know that eventually you'll probably have to get it to a point where you just have to set it aside and just leave the bottle and gravity do its work and eventually depending on how much you actually have to uh, put in there you'll want to or depending on how messy you get you know if it's your first couple of times doing this you'll just want to use that spatula to just push it on in there and again you can either tap it down or do the little mini vacuum and so just to recap make sure again if you're not these are obviously not the original containers so make sure you label them in a way that is fairly obvious not only to you but you know possible other people in your household or you know guests whatever and um, basically once set this aside let it gravity again take its turn at it and come back and most of this will be gone and down in the your new daily use bottle uh, at least temporary and uh, when that's all done uh, you can take it a step further and actually cut the bottle in half and then again use your spatula to put it through the funnel or you can just let it uh, you know let the gravity do its thing and just wait uh, a working shift or overnight whatever your schedule allows and you'll be able to get that last bit out of your bottles and your tubes